I wanted to talk to you about this live tour, the Saudi back tour and what this is going. Let's say nobody uh, knows anything about this topic. The casual fan. What, what would you tell them about this tour and the impact potential impact on the PGA tour? Well, to the casual fan, I would say if you've heard of the USFL, uh, it's not analogous because one's international uh, for the most part and one was completely domestic. The USFL tried to go against the NFL years ago. They had Herschel Walker, they had Kelvin Bryant, they had guys like that, uh, and it didn't work. Uh, what Live Golf is trying to do is compete against the PGA Tour, and the PGA Tour is the biggest and baddest, uh, wealthiest, most prestigious uh, golf tour in the world. Um, and they are trying to stave off uh, any type of competition. And that's what Live Golf is trying to do. They are backed uh, by Saudi dollars and they have a lot of money. Um, someone told me the other day, it's kind of like playing poker with someone, Dan, and sitting across the table. And that guy has all the chips. Uh, clearly, they have the money and they have the backing. Uh, whether or not they'll be able to get the players and be able to get this thing started to compete literally compete against the PGA Tour. We'll have to wait and see. But also, Greg Norman is heading this up, and it feels like Greg Norman is really, really mad at the PGA Tour. Yeah, he's been mad at the PGA Tour for a long time. If you remember all the way back to, I know you're a golf fan, you and I text back and forth, we've known each other for years. Uh, for the casual sports fan, but for the diehard golf fan, they know this, but for the casual sports fan who, who's you know listening and watching your show right now, Dan, Way back when, 25, 30 years ago, Greg Norman, who's from Australia, um, huge personality, uh, was an incredibly popular and polarizing figure in golf. He wanted to start a big world tour. Uh, the PGA Tour thwarted that off, and they built what became the World Golf Championship events, a three or four golf tournament series that were played around the world. Uh, and one of them is still played today, actually, the match play in Austin. Uh, Texas was in, played in March. And Greg has had an interesting relationship with the PGA Tour ever since. Um, and, and clearly he is now on the live golf side as opposed to the PGA Tour side currently. 